Hi viewers and welcome to my channel Being Speaker. In today's video, I'll cover five mantras of uh, artificial intelligence. Before we move ahead, uh, just in case we have some new viewers on the channel and who are wondering about uh, what is this channel all about and wanted to get uh, onboarded with us please do visit my prior videos uh, uh, on this channel and uh, if you find something useful please do subscribe because I keep posting um, my videos every Saturday with a snippet of uh, some facts and interesting uh, information about artificial intelligence so let's get started A lot of people talk about different types of AI. Um, some of them they classify into based on uh, capabilities and uh, based on functionalities. And uh, I think uh, if you want to make it much more simpler, um, uh, then uh, something which is based on capabilities I already covered in one of my uh, earlier video where which was on why we are scared of AI where I spoke about the different stages of AI from uh, normal uh, in intelligence to uh, general intelligence to uh, super intelligence so that's nothing but based on the capabilities uh, maybe in today's video we can talk more about the uh, types of ai uh, based on the functionality now um, but uh, talking more uh, technical makes it difficult so let me share you through these five mantras so always uh, remember that artificial intelligence can work on present data so to give you an example of uh, Deep Blue, uh, where uh, it defeated uh, Gary Kasparo in the chess competition. I am sure you might have heard of this um, uh, news uh, and it, it happened long back. Uh, so that's one where uh, what happened is this is a very basic type of AI system where it assesses uh, 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 based, uh, assesses the current situation and work only on the present data and uh, so this particular uh, AI system was programmed for different kinds of uh, moves uh, different kinds of setup of a chess game and also it was designed to predict uh, what kind of moves uh, an opponent might uh, come up with technical term this is called as a reactive ai system the second mantra i wanted to give you is uh, that ai system also works on the historical data and sometimes observational data i mean it's it's a combination of both so in such scenario uh, an example that i would give you is self-driving car so in case of self-driving car a lot of historical data uh, related um to road location data and um, lane marking and a lot of things are already fed in the system so it works uh, based on the historic data and the map data and all information at the same time it also works on the observational data now these observational data is nothing but uh, comes from the sensor um, a car sensors where it senses the speed of uh, the vehicles around it it senses um, if people are uh, around it if the vegetation is around and things like that so uh, that's it's a combination of both and this is actually called as a limited memory ai system Observational information is quite limited. Mostly it works on the historical data. The third one is uh, where the uh, AI system works on human uh, emotions and sentiments. Okay. So in this case, psychology plays a major role in developing this kind of AI system. To give you an example, Sophia is the best example for this where uh, it has come a long way uh, where it is interacting with human beings and at the same time learning but still um, it's not yet complete. Um, it might look quite sophisticated uh, but there is still a, a lot of uh, area 
or the gap to be uh, filled in. Uh, so that's uh, that kind of uh, AI system is called as is uh, based on like theory of mind. The fourth one is something called as self-aware AI, which means that uh, someday AI can possibly compete with humans. So coming at par with human intellect. Now, this is a very hypothetical situation, but a lot of studies and researchers are going on. As I spoke about this in uh, my prior video also, it, this is more about uh, the stage of uh, artificial general intelligence and super intelligence. So these were the four mantras uh, which you should be aware of and the respective technical terms I already gave. Uh, but the fifth one is uh, mantra is uh, very generic and that is that AI system uh, application is possible in almost every sector. So you name it and and uh, it will be part of it or something is already happening so um, to uh, some of the surprising uh, elements uh, which i found was uh, ai in the uh, field of fashion ai in the field of civil engineering ai in the field of uh, beauty technology and many more so don't uh, underestimate the power of ai uh, you never know which domain uh, it might fit in and uh, you get surprises out of it Hope you like this video and till next Saturday, this is Sarika Hussain signing off. Have a good day and take care.